Hey guys, welcome back. This is Phil from Indicage.com. What I have here today is LG Signature Edition. You might as well heard about the LG Signature series. It's the brand of home appliances, including the washing machine, dishwasher, and the, the, the fridges. And they applied that brand into their phone, namely the V30. So this shares most of the components, including the Snapdragon 835 octa-core processor and the battery and the dual camera, but differentiates it by replacing the back cover into the zirconium and expanding RAM and storage amount even further. And they also give out a free watch style as a gift. Allow me to explain it further as we are going through the unboxing. It's in two layer packaging. The first one is the phone itself, LG Signature Edition. And the second one is BNO Play H5. This is the Bluetooth headset. If you haven't watched it, there is an unboxing of this very headset. You can click on the card there to learn more about the headset. So here's a box of the phone itself. There is LG Signature Edition engraving on top and there also is one on the side as well. Let me open that up for you. And the build of the box, I, I don't want to nitpick on this, isn't exactly perfect as you can see there. There is an adhesive right there as you can see and it doesn't look too premium. Again, this isn't anything big, but when you're paying $2,000 for an LG phone, you kind of expect better than this. There is a little cleaning uh, cloth there included, says LG Signature Edition, and we have the phone itself. This is the Signature Edition handset. We're gonna put it right there. And below that is the BNO Play earphones. This isn't exactly built by BNO Play. They tune the audio. The earphone itself doesn't sound too great. Uh, for a bundle pair of headsets, maybe, but don't expect a BNO quality audio from this. Another thing included is the charger and cable. Here is the little box, and inside that lies a white charger and a white cable. Again, when you're paying $2,000 for an LG phone, you kind of expect them to match the color of those accessories to the color of the phone, but they didn't bother. And there is a free case included. It's just a simple plastic case with the soft finish on the inside and the leathery finish on top. I'm not really sure if this is leather or not, but it does have a little signature edition engraving. And that is followed by a stack of manuals, LG Pay Guide, and the SIM card tray removal tool, and the warranty card. And finally, we have the adapter, again, in white, the USB type A to USB type C, and micro USB to USB type C adapter. Alrighty, enough with the details, let's go ahead with the device itself. Here, under the protective plastic, we have the V30, no, Signature Edition from LG. On the front side, we got the front-facing camera that wasn't exactly great on my V30 experience, receiver and the sensors, followed by six inches of OLED display. On the right-hand side, there is much except for the SIM card tray that can also host a microSD card. On top, there is the earphone jack, the standard earphone jack, along with the secondary microphone. Left-hand side has a volume rocker and the bottom has the USB Type-C port, speaker, and the microphone. But perhaps the most important part is the rear of it. There are dual cameras, LED flash, power kit that doubles as the fingerprint reader, BNO logo, and LG Signature Edition logo right there. And this whole backplate is not glass, but zirconium ceramic. Zirconium is a material that is also used on luxury watches, so it doesn't scratch off easily, although it tends to crack easier. That's why LG has included a free replacement for the back cover and the front panel as well. If you happen to crack them, you can get them replaced for free for once. Now here's a little comparison between Vanilla V30 and the Signature Edition. They mostly look the same, but the Signature Edition doesn't have that lenticular film, so it doesn't reflect the light as the Vanilla one does. Rather, it has different feel of reflection. And also, the Signature Edition is a bit thicker, so a bit of a side effect is that you don't have a camera bump at all. And also it has 6 gigabytes of RAM and 256 gigabytes of storage, while the vanilla V30 only has 4 gigabytes of RAM and 64 or 128 gigabytes of storage. When you're booting up the phone, it has a cool signature edition logo. Even the always on display clock is different from the vanilla one because it has a dedicated theme. Now the theme is mostly black and white. I think it looks a bit like the Prada series theme, but the thing is they didn't work on all of the icons. I get it, you can't work on millions of Android apps icons, but even a built-in app like Calculator doesn't have its own icon. Not to mention other series of built-in apps 
and Google Play Store and Chrome, they're built in and also they even lie on the dock. They should have worked on that if they wanna sell the V30 for $2,000. The system itself is the same. It's got Snapdragon 835 octa-core processor. It's based on Android Oreo. It's got fast charging, wireless charging, and also IP68 water and dust resistant as well. The phone itself looks pretty cool. It's got bezel-less display and that black and white theme goes really well with that OLED display with the complete black. And especially with the scratch resistant zirconium backplate, this $2,000 LG phone seems like it's gonna last for a good time. Since this basically is the same V30, if you wanna learn more about what I think about the phone, you can watch the review by clicking on the card right there. So this was the LG Signature Edition, the $2,000 LG phone based on V30 with different backplate, uh, the warranty services, and larger RAM and storage amount. And I forgot to mention, this isn't available outside of South Korea, and they only build 300 devices that are all sold out. Thank you always for watching. If you have any questions, please leave them down on the comments. You can always meet us on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. We'll see you guys later. Ciao.